Hello everybody, all you popcorn lovers out there. Today I am going to be making for you real theater style popcorn right here in your own kitchen. Uh, step number one, preheat oven to 300 degrees. If you have a convection roast feature, then uh, go ahead and use that. I'm going to use that now. Make sure you get your broiler pan out of there if that's where you store it. Alright, ready there. Now let's go on over here and we will get cracking. Alright, so um, if you don't have a popper at home, um, I really like them because they're fun. You can watch the popcorn pop. And uh, if you don't have one, uh, Open Brown shows that you can just use this on a regular stove. Just put a piece of aluminum foil over. Put your oil in there and your popcorn. It'll salt and stab some holes in the aluminum foil so that way it'll vent. So, but we've got one, so we're going to get it cranking. This lid off and fire it up so it preheats a little bit. Now, I like to use uh, one third a cup, it usually yields about eight uh, cups of pop popcorn. You use an Orville Redenbacher, if you've got another one that you like, uh, some organic one maybe, but, oh, yeah, you made a little mess. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Now, this is theater style uh, coconut oil. Um, you could use regular coconut oil or you could use uh, maybe some... Uh, sunflower oil, which would work fine, uh, but uh, I'm using two teaspoons, and there's sort of guesstimated teaspoons here. There you go. Doesn't have to be perfect. But uh, the, the, the theater one comes with beta carotene in it. That's what gives it this orange color, and that's what you see uh, when you uh, go to the theater. Now we're going to pop this baby in and get her started. And that's a good one. Alright, now, butter. You're going to want to put butter on your popcorn, so um, let me get it out of the refrigerator and we'll get it ready. If you're going to do this, you might as well use salted butter. You need that extra flavor for sure. About two tablespoons, so that's about one, two tablespoons. There we go. Looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. Anywhere between two and three tablespoons of butter. And just throw it in the microwave 20 seconds. About all you need. Now, the magic's about to happen. A little shake. <laughs> Let's get a little 
zoom in on that action. Now, if you're looking for uh, this coconut oil, um, I got it from Amazon and it's about 20 bucks. This thing will last you a pretty long time. It's about 30 ounces. And the total red box is only about 5 bucks. There she goes. I can already see the yellow color on the. Uh, now, one thing really nice about this recipe is that you can one thing really nice about this recipe is that you can use uh, you can pop this ahead so if you're gonna throw a, a little movie party later. You can have it all popped, uh, ready to go, and then the next step you'll be able to do uh, just about 20 minutes before you're ready. So, popcorns are popped. There you go. I like to get that good rinse right away. And then you can wash it all the way a little bit later. Ah, there's the oven. Alright, so our next step is to pour it out onto our baking sheet. We got a nice big baking sheet. You can use two smaller cookie sheets if you've got them. I'll just grab our melted butter and Cool. That needs to go for another 10-15 10, seconds. And uh, a little salt. Maybe a little spatula for tossing. But this guitar spatula is given to us as a gift. Alright. Well, it looks like it popped up real nice. Now, the beauty about doing it this way is that you can now season it more evenly than trying to just do it from the top of your uh, popcorn bowl. I mean, just pouring it over the top and trying to toss it, it can be a real pickle. So we're just going to take this and we're going to drizzle it nice and slow across this way, across this way. Let's see. We'll do a little zigzag like that. Whichever way you can do to get it, you know, a little bit on every kernel. And then you're going to toss this anyway, so there we go. So if you didn't get any, you will get it when you toss it. Um, salt. I've got sea salt here. Interesting, I bought, I bought coarse sea salt. This is coarse sea salt but it's not even inside there. So um, I ran it through um, a strainer, just a regular colander, and I was able to separate the big pieces. Oh, let me turn this down now. But you could uh, uh, get out the big pieces and put them in a separate bowl and get the little pieces. So now we've got nice fine, just from the same coarse, container, coarse box. So. That's a penny saved is a penny earned, right? So, let's put some salt right across here like that. Maybe just a little bit more. I like it. Nice and salty. Now, now I'm just going to give it a little toss with our guitar. Now, why did we preheat the oven, you're probably asking by now. Well, um, what I've come to find out is that 
it doesn't seem like any way I've ever done it in a popper this way or a popper on the stove or um, air poppers um, somehow the kernels don't have that same crispiness to it as it does at the theater um, and this might actually be slightly better than the ones at the theater because not only are we going to throw it in the oven to dry it out, but we're uh, but it's also going to bake on that butter that we just put on there. So that's a big bonus. So basically, you're all done, ready to go. And what we're going to do is swing our camera around, zoom out a little bit so I can get in there. Zooming isn't working. All right, well, we'll just back the camera up. There we go. All right. So here we are. Nice even layer right there. Throw it in the oven. 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how good your oven is. Um, it's hard to uh, it's hard to say for sure, but uh, I'd say start with 15 reach in there and grab a kernel and see how it is and then um, we'll pull these out in uh, 15 minutes from now. I might go 17 just for fun so we're going to do 17. There we go and uh, when we're back you'll see, you'll, you'll, I'll try to crunch it for you so you can see how it sounds. So while we're waiting uh, I've and I just clean up the kitchen a little bit since uh, the popping. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about a little flavor uh, uh, variation if you um, if you like. You can do like maybe an Asian style one with uh, and use the same butter. Well, actually use no, uh, unsalted butter, and um, you can add like two teaspoons or a tablespoon depending on how much you like your soy and um, a little bit of uh, sesame oil in there and that will um, give you sort of an Asian style uh, and just when you're roasting the kernels um, it'll bake it on a lot better and if you try to do this without and I did um, it's going to end up being a little mushy or soggy and that was the problem um, that I was having with even my fancy popper um, or my crank stove popper uh, was that the kernels um, came out more chewy than crisp and that was um, not pleasant for some people so um, if you really like that if you really want to simulate what it's like for the corn to be underneath the um, uh, heat lamp and the, the professional popper Basically, you're doing it, you know, it sits in there for hours, and here it's only 15 minutes, and bam. And then you've got your real theater popcorn. That is the trick. Um, don't touch your face. Uh, we're in still quarantine, lockdown, uh, but my hands are clean. I just washed everything. So, in any case, uh, I hope that this will help you um, with your movie night plans. Um, we've got about another eight minutes so uh, we'll be back in a moment and uh, pull those things out all right now we got our groove going Okay, so it's nearly done. Um, I just wanted to talk for a second about Cuisinart. Cuisinart, you can still get the uh, popper that I've got, except they don't do this really cool sort of louvered style popcorn bucket, which is festive. And the new ones are just flat-sided, probably easier to clean, but 
you know, um, I, you know me, you know I like Cuisinart, art, and it always upsets me that they always take a big step back sometimes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Corn. Wow. Let's have a little taste. Uh, Listen to this. Mmm. That's what you want to hear for sure. So now it'd be a little challenging getting it into your I mean, if we get some of it off, I can probably tilt this thing and pour it in. So, let me grab a hot mitt. You definitely want to serve this warm. That's the oven saying it's done. And it'll keep doing that until I push cancel. do a half cup of kernels and then that would yield um, I think somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 cups but uh, you know if you're just two people this is probably just fine uh, have a good look at that <laughs> well I hope you have a great uh, night enjoying your movies I'm just gonna jam out a little bit